Like in a solid block and it won't fit in the cup. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Does anyone know any tricks to breaking up ice easy without creating a mess? Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. So today I want to get focusing on some Halloween goodies. I don't know about you, it's the end of August right now, it's like the 28th or something like that and I am really really in the autumn mood yeah I'm really really excited because I want to work on the Memento Mori collection which is kind of Halloweeny but kind of more gothic which can kind of be put all year round um, basically I'm going to explain a little bit about Memento Mori as we get into it but that is what I want to work on today the sticker sheet for that and send it off and I also want to design some new backing cards because I've got some enamel pins so let me just show you a second so down here we have this little school dude enamel pin and this is going to be part of the Memento Mori collection. Uh, originally the backing cards looked like this and it just said what a beautiful enamel pin but I actually want this to be a Memento Mori keepsake so it's this little skull of two goofy teeth. Some people mistook the nose for a mouth. Anyway I'll show you the Memento Mori collection on my iPad that I have been working on. So these are all the skulls for Memento Mori. These are going to be stickers and we've got a little countdown here. They look really cute but as you can see some people are seeing this as a smiley face and it's basically the nose but I did it as a heart shape and just to make it a little cuter and the teeth are my teeth. It's goofy teeth if anyone wants to know why there's only two teeth it's because uh, I've got goofy teeth so kind of making fun of myself almost uh, but yeah this heart nose I think looks like a smile and he looks really really cute but I can see it as a smile so I'm going to get rid of that and then do an upside down triangle so hopefully people know that that's the nose and then there's the goofy teeth but I even illustrated roses properly this time which I've never done before I always used to do a circle line but I actually studied some roses I looked at a reference photo online and then I ended up illustrating these roses here and they turned out really cool so I need to remember to look at reference photos I also looked at a reference photo for this what I found is it can be so easy to fall into a routine of illustrating things you're comfortable with and then you never really progress you kind of stagnate which is where I feel like I'm at at the minute because I haven't been really learning any new skills or experimenting lately but I feel like I've grown a little bit by illustrating these roses so now I can kind of illustrate roses a little bit and then that's how you basically grow and yeah improve so I'm proud of myself on that I really really like how this has turned out the color palette is like a dark gray and pink and I think it's a little different for catnip which is really really exciting I'm also going to be doing some Halloween-y uh, stickers as well but I'll explain a little bit more about Memento Mori. Memento Mori is an artistic expression and philosophy which first became popular back in the 17th century. According to the Tate Modern, a Memento Mori is an artwork designed to remind the viewer of their mortality and the shortness and fragility of human life. The literal meaning of Memento Mori is a Latin phrase meaning remember you must die. A basic Memento Mori painting would usually be a portrait was a skull but other symbols were commonly found like hourglasses, clocks, extinguished or guttering candles, fruits and flowers. If you're a Disney fan like me you may have noticed that Memento Mori is actually the gift shop outside the Haunted Mansion and the Haunted Mansion itself 
actually uses symbolism from the art movement of Memento Mori. You may have also seen the Memento Mori symbolism in Markiplier's and Ethan's channel Unisanis, which was where they offered the viewers a once in a lifetime experience, a channel which literally had a countdown and at the end they deleted pretty much every single bit of content they had forever. My brother actually stayed up for the final live stream and managed to get some pretty cool merch from this one. People often keep Memento as symbolising Memento Mori as a reminder to live their lives to the fullest. I'm one of those people who finds a weird comfort in this statement and I actually really really enjoy the stoic philosophy behind it. So that's what I wanted to kind of achieve with the stickers. It's normally a much more gothic style when you search for Memento Mori so I wanted to add a little touch of catnip, sprinkle a little bit of catnip to bring this Memento Mori philosophy to life and this was the stickers that I finally came up with and I really would like to expand this collection. Please let me know if you would like to see this on anything else. We already have the skull as an enamel pin so yeah it's pretty cool and I'm really really happy with how the illustrations came out and it was really really fun almost like an art lesson to learn a little bit about Memento Mori and the Vanitas and kind of learn about the art movement in general so I really really enjoyed this project. This is probably one of my favourite projects that I've done in a very very a long time. I am so chaotic with my planning. People probably think that I do everything like by order, but what happens is my brain gets so distracted, I end up like planning a totally different collection. Anyway, the other week I designed these cozy bear stickers that I'm gonna send off, but I thought I might as well send off and wait until I designed the Memento Mori stickers um, to send those off. But now I've went on a different tangent and I've designed like some mushroom things. So if you've seen on Instagram, I created this whole story about a love shroom like a magic cute little mushroom from fauna the witch of the wind you can see that over on my instagram i did like a little mini backstory i'd like to do a real book on that but anyway i ended up designing my first ever jumper with it so it's going to be like this beigey sand colour, but this is what I've just done. See, my mind just goes off on a tangent. So I'm really excited about it. So that now I'm thinking I should do a whole mushroom sticker sheet as well. And to create the mushroom sticker sheet, I think I'm going to I'm going to have my dinner now, have something to eat, and then I think I'm going to go to a coffee shop and get like a nice coffee or something, maybe hot chocolate, and illustrate a mushroom sticker sheet. My friend Charlie has just come in, actually Matthew's friend, but now my friend, um, and she brought me a little uh, wedding gift. Look how cute this is. It's a little flower lamp and it's got a little gold bird on top. Have you seen it? How pretty is that? Wow. 
Oh, it's also dimmable. So if you hold it, it goes brighter. And then, I don't know, Dean, don't you think this would be super cute for the van, for Peggy? I also got a package of my Marshy Mill. It's just arrived. Uh, they haven't put any plastic and, or anything on it like they normally do. So hopefully these have turned out okay and they're not bent. Whoa. Oh, these are so cute. So this is a Marshy Mill. It's all like textured. Can you see? It's so pretty. And then on the back is our letter. I put little daisies on and then it has a little marshmallow on top. It is so nice. Look at that. And this is actually, me and Dean both have this as a wallpaper for our phone. It looks so cute. I've also got a, pass, a parcel from Oliver Bonus as well. So I ordered a flat lay bag and it's in the colour sage green velvet. Basically, you put all of your makeup in and it just folds out because if you're anything like me, I have tons of makeup and I literally need a bag, otherwise you're like rummaging through for your makeup and it takes like twice as long. Whereas this, Mike's like looking at me creepy in the window. Whereas this like opens out and I used to have one of these but it finally has seen the end of times. It The ribbon was like falling off it and it had a knot on it originally and it all like it like broke so then I tied a knot in it. Anyway, I decided after about three years to finally get a new one and I found this one of Oliver Bonus and it's actually my friend who showed me this. It's like a sage green. Ooh, look at this. You basically put up all your makeup in here and then you can put your brushes in and then you tie it all together. And it's from the flat leg coat. Oh, I need to cut that a little bit off. Yay! Look at this beautiful ring holder. It's like ceramic with these gold dots and hand painted pink and yellow sequins in. So I take my rings off every night. Let's see if this works well. Yay! change the lighting in the studio to match with the autumnal mood that we've got going on. We've got orange up here and green up there. I'm back home now and it's actually my friend's birthday and I got her a little catnip card. I'll show you in a second but I thought, seeing as I showed you earlier just a little fold out makeup bag, I've just transferred all my makeup over and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it kind of all wrapped up and then you've got all your makeup out like this that you can just get to and also it has places for your brushes it's really nice i just think it needs something over the top just to cover it up and make it look nice and neat but anyway best thing about owning your own business is you can just grab a greetings card from the studio this is what i've got him it says what year is it as if he's a lazy spud and he fell asleep on the sofa and it says you're my best spud on the back it just says catnip and stuff and then on the inside it says you're my best spud so i'm going to write this out for Carl. Happy birthday, Carl. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know Hello, Ramona I miss 
Good morning guys, I've just got in to the studio and it is so windy and miserable outside. It's like literally a storm is blowing or something. Oh, as my good friend would say, it's not a good day to be a wheelie bin. Don't think I'll be able to show you, but it's very stormy outside. And today I'm going to finish off the mushroom stickers. But first of all, I'm gonna get a coffee. I'm gonna get an iced coffee, but to be honest, I think I'll have to stop having iced coffee. It's only like 13 degrees outside. It's still August, by the way, <laughs> despite all the halloween -y stuff. Um, but it is the end of August, but it, I like it personally because when I'm in the studio and it's really, really stormy and rainy outside, it feels really cosy and it makes me feel really creative, so I know that's weird. I kind of like it, but it's not nice to walk in, obviously. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to get a coffee. I'm going to get a nice coffee, but yeah, because it's so cold, I think it's coming to the end of coffee season. Do I want a hot coffee? I don't want an iced coffee. Mm, I've got ginger syrup. I need to get pumpkin spice syrup. It's Halloween. <laughs> I've kept the lights off in the studio for a cosy vibe but the question is what cosy ambiance should I use for the studio? I went for this rainy autumn coffee shop ambience now let's get to work Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Oh, this reminds me of Christmas last year. 